What's up, video creator? Welcome back to videomark.net. Let's talk about adjustment layers, or actually audio adjustment layers, which doesn't exist in Premiere Pro. <laughs> what do I mean by that? If you've been using Premiere Pro, you probably have heard of adjustment layers. Maybe you've used them a couple of times. Uh, let me give you an example. I'm here in the yesterday's tutorial. And what, for instance, here's an adjustment layer, and I, I applied an a transform effect to it so it transforms everything below it this uh, camera and the screen recording here as you can see both is being transformed i could have applied that to each individually but pretty tedious task now i can take this and then copy it or extend it or do whatever i want and that works for every effect that's being applied to that adjustment layer you know that already a pretty common question that is being asked a lot is well do we have adjustment layers for audio the answer is no. <laughs> is there a way to actually work around it? Yes, but it just, I know it's confusing. It just works differently. We don't have an adjustment layer, but the way we can do that is with the track mat panel or the track, what's the name again? Track mixer, uh, audio track <laughs> mixer, sorry. So that's the audio track mixer. And what that does, if you don't see that panel, just go to window and audio track mixer. And usually, um, you've seen it already. This is closed and that's the confusing part. When you, you, when you open it the first time, it looks like this and you don't see what you actually need to apply that, apply it the way that we're going to apply it now. So what I usually, what I usually do with my tutorials, when we click on one, uh, one of these clips and go to the effect controls, I apply a stack of effects of audio effects to it. And I do that. That's the very first thing I do when I start editing. But imagine you did all the work, you edited everything, and then you want to change anything. That's not the case here, but what if what if you wanted to do it? Then I would have to go through each individual clip and then change it or at least copy it and then paste it here and all these. It's a very tedious task. Yeah, you can go in and select all of them and then right click and paste attributes. Okay, but still it's a tedious process. To demonstrate, like I could have uh, the, the smarter way Again, not necessary because I'm not changing anything, but the smarter way would be applying all these things um, to the whole track. And that you would do in the audio track mixer. What I'm doing, however, is I'm applying a limiter to the master track, and that's where this comes in handy. So here's a track mixer, and then you see this little triangle here. When you twirl that open, you see this uh, these slots, and here you can apply effects to the whole track. And that's the whole point. As you can see, I've applied the heart limiter here already. Uh, let me remove that. You have five slots here. And then twirl this open and you see this is exactly the set of effects you have available under in the, in the audio effects. And when I apply the, the heart limiter, um, when you take a look, it's not going to work. It's, it's not there. But when I apply it, just so you see, it's really working let's let's overdo it minus 20 and now when i play it um involved. as you can see it's it's limited to minus 20 oft so then you would have to add, okay again i usually set this to something around minus two so it, i have no audio clipping here actually you can only and then i limit and the good thing is when i'm i don't know back here it's it's exactly the same thing because it's it has been applied to the master track. Uh, I could also do it only on this track here. Then I would apply this effect to audio track one, which is this one here on the left side. But uh, this hard limiter makes sense. Um, in this case, it makes sense on the master track. And that's basically it. This is the way the, the same functionality you would get. Look at that stupid face here. <laughs> the same functionality um, you would get Another stupid face, look at that. The same functionality as if you had applied an adjustment layer to, to video tracks, okay? Pretty simple. So bottom line, if you don't see, if you, if you don't see the, the, the audio track mixer, go to window, audio track mixer. And the confusing thing is there's another thing named audio clip mixer. That's not the one. Go to audio track mixer twirl open this menu here and then you see these slots where you can apply all these audio effects and then adjust it to your liking and that's basically it all right one more thing to do 
And that's announcing the winner of yesterday's gift card. As you've probably seen on my channel, it's gift card in November, where I'm giving away a gift card every single day in November, $1,500 in total. A couple of gift cards I gave away already. They all have been redeemed. Everybody's happy. So if you want to get a chance to win this gift card, give this video a thumbs up, the very first thing, then leave a comment and you will have a chance to win tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, then the day after, and then the day after until November 30th. Okay, a new gift card every single day. So let's uh, see who has won today. And we have a new winner, and the winner of yesterday's gift card is Mr. Dreams. Mr. Dreams, you just won a $50 gift card. Let me know how I can contact you. The best way would be providing your email address in your YouTube profile, so I can be sure that it's you. Yeah, have fun with that gift card. All right, thank you for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to not miss any new tutorial or in this month, a new chance to win a new gift card. And I'll see you tomorrow.